Hey guys, today I am back and I am doing my MAC haul of the Kelly Osbourne and Sharon collection. I know it's a bit late, but I still want to share with you guys what I got and then also kind of give you like a little review because um, I'm wearing everything that I purchased. Um, so basically everything on my face is from that collection except my eyes. I'm excited about the Sharon and Kelly Osbourne collection. Usually when MAC comes out with a collection, I'm not that excited because I already have a good makeup collection set. Um, so when I see things, I'm just like, okay, I have that color or I have something similar to it, so I'm not going to waste my money. But this time when I seen all the lipsticks, I was just like, okay, I want all of them. And it also helped too that they had the pro discount. So I'm basically just going to jump right into this haul and share everything that I got from MAC, Ulta, and then some random things that I'll throw in at the end and I'll, of course I'll tell you where they're from. So first off, I want to share with you guys what I got from the Sharon collection. Oops, sorry. Everything's just like falling everywhere. I got this um, refreshed mineralized skin finish and they still do have this available everything is pretty much sold out so that's probably why I didn't want to do my haul but some of the things um, are still available and some of the things that I really really liked are available so you guys can go and get it um, basically this is a bronzer and highlight I really 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 like this one um, it's super pigmented I'm wearing the bronzer on my contour and I'm wearing the highlight I wasn't super excited about this, but after putting it on my cheeks today, I'm super excited and I think I am going to purchase another one right after I'm done with this haul. So this was really, really nice. It's nice for the summer. It has a nice contour and the highlight is really nice and shimmery. It has like a pink undertone. So as I put it on, I was just like, wow, this is like really, really nice. So this is perfect from the Sharon Osborne collection. Next, I got Peaches and Cream Blush, and let me open it for you guys and show you what it looks like. I don't know why it's called Peaches and Cream because I'm wearing that on the apples of my cheeks. It's pretty pink and mauve to me, but it's a really, really bl a pretty blush. I know they restocked a few things, so if you guys can get your hands on this, I would definitely recommend that one. It's just perfectly pigmented and it gives off a really nice sheer pink look on the cheek. So next was the lip gloss and this is in Bourjois. I took everything out of their packaging but the ones that I do have I'll share with you guys. Um, so basically it is, this is basically a dupe for Ample Pink. Ample Pink is one of my favorite lip glosses from MAC and I was like whoa when I got it in the mail I was like that looks so familiar and of course, I know my favorite lip gloss from MAC, so I went and swatched it towards it, and they're completely the same. So if you guys couldn't get your hands on this, then just get Ample Pink, and it's the same thing. I mean, of course, you're not, oops, you're not getting the packaging, but if you want the color, then it's close to Ample Pink. And I'm wearing that on my lips as well um, over Riot House, which I will show you guys in a second. So... That was basically it from the Sharon collection. I didn't like any of the lip pencils or whatever those lips, like, I don't know what they're called, but I didn't like any of those. And as far as eyeshadows, I didn't get any of the eyeshadows because I have so many eyeshadows already, so that would have just been a waste for me. This is basically the packaging for the Kelly Osborne collection. And this one is Cheeky Burger. And it's just a really soft, pale pink. If you guys can see, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's just super soft. I don't even know if this will show up on my cheeks, but I've seen a couple of people wear it on Instagram that are around my skin tone, so I might be able to pull it off. But that was the um, blush from the Kelly collection. And it's, it's pretty, so I would probably recommend the Sharon one better if you're my skin tone just because it'll show up better. Next I got from the Kelly collection I got the pencil brush and it's just a smaller version of um what brush is the 219 from MAC it's a pencil brush and like I have gazillions of these and I use them all the time so that's why I got this because I know that I would use it and 
yeah it has the purple packaging and it's also a little bit smaller so you can take it to travel or wherever you go next from the collection i got lip liner and this is in nsync and it's from the cali collection basically i will swatch it this one's really really nice if you guys can see that it's like a pale pink peach color so i thought it would be nice to mix with some of the lip colors like riot house or strip poker just because strip poker is a little bit nude um this would be nice or if you wanted to do this with just the lip um glass from sharon collection that would be really nice too so i got that and i do recommend that one to purchase next i got kelly yum yum and this is the packaging it just has her signature in red and i don't have kelly yum yum so i definitely was gonna pick this one up and i'm glad i did because i kind of like it better than kelly yum yum because this is more pink with a cool undertone and the Kelly Yum Yum is just a little bit too blue and this one is a satin finish whereas Kelly Yum Yum is I believe a matte finish and I don't like the way it comes off but this one's really nice and satin so that was Kelly Yum Yum from the collection. Next um, is Doggy Girl and this one is matte but it is still really nice and it's just a really light purple. Um, like I said, I I wanted to get all the lip colors from this collection just be all different and it's not something that you see from MAC all the time. So And all this stuff is limited edition too so that's why I wanted to get my hands on it and purchase the lip colors. Next is Riot House and this is a matte color. And this one just... It's an, it's basically an orange nude, so I really, really do like that one. And I have this Riot House with um, the Bourgeois, if I'm saying that correctly, lip gloss over it. And then last from the lip colors was Strip Poker, and this was just a nude color. Um, that was basically it from the Sharon and Kelly Osborne collection. If you guys do decide to pick anything up, I would definitely say the Sharon blush and this because I know this is still available. So yeah, that was it from the, um, the collections. Next, I just got this lip color in Sis. It was just different and I really liked it. So I went ahead and picked it up and I'll go ahead and swatch it. It's just like a nude brown. I never, ever, ever seen a color like this. So I definitely wanted to add this to my collection. It's just really nice and soft. And I thought it'd be nice for the summer with a summer glow bronzy color um, with just like lashes and liner. I thought this would be really, really nice. So I picked that up. So next I went to Ulta and I had like $6 available for like redeemable points. And I had a $3.50 coupon that everybody gets. So I figured why not put my coupons to use. And also, I had been eyeing the Real Techniques brushes and they had a sale of buy one get one half off. So it was like the perfect time just to like pick some stuff up. So I went ahead and got this from Ulta and it is basically the Real Techniques core collection and it comes with a detailer brush, pointed foundation brush, buffing brush, and contour brush. The main reason why I got this is because I don't really wear foundation that often but I do want to start reviewing some for you guys so this is the foundation brush and this is the contouring brush and I heard nothing but good things about this to apply the foundation that it applies it really really flawlessly and it's just really really good brush to have in the collection and of course a pointer brush anybody can use that and then I will probably just use that one to conceal so I picked that up Neeks, um, basically beauty blender from this company this was only six dollars so I did originally want the original beauty blender but it was twenty dollars and I didn't want to spend that much on it just because I don't like I said I don't always wear foundation so I heard that this was a really nice comparable 
sponge to the beauty blender and that it works really really well and it was only six dollars so also i also like the fact that this one has different shapes like it has the pointed side where you can conceal it has a flat side if you needed to get like right here and put on a liquid um highlighter and then it has the other side where you can just blend in your foundation so i'm definitely going to be trying that out and those were the only two things from the real techniques next i got a few blushes lately i just been hearing a lot of good things about it so i was like i'm just gonna give it a try and i heard a lot of good things about this one so this is a pink fetish the only thing i would say is that they said that this has a thin layer over it so that you basically have to film that out before you start getting any colors so that's basically pink fetish and I don't know, NYX has been coming out with a lot of good things, so I thought, why not try it? Next um, was a NYX blush in Terracotta, and I purchased this because a friend on Instagram and YouTube, she did her favorite blushes, and I'll link her channel down below because she honestly picked, like, blushes I've never seen and they were all so beautiful and this one definitely caught my eye and I had to get it so this is terracotta and it's basically like a bronzer but it has gold and orange undertones on it so I definitely definitely had to get this like it caught my eye and it just looks so beautiful on the skin it's just nothing like I've ever seen so I thought I would basically put this to my collection and like I said NYX has been coming out with some good stuff so I thought why not try it now that I have the coupon and they gave me this infusing refreshing spray from Quidad which is a botanical boost so this was also a pretty good size and what they gave okay so next um, was a few things that I purchased online from Charlotte Ruse I've been wanting the Ray-Bans from Ray-Ban of course but I've been spending a lot of money on makeup so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to purchase them so I just went ahead and got these Ray-Bans from Charlotte Ruse. The only thing I don't like about them is that it has the pink. I wanted it to be gold but they're actually really pretty cute. So they just have like this like gold and pink um, glare to them. So I thought these were super, super cute, and they really, really reminded me of the Ray-Bans. Pretty much the same thing without the name on it. And next, um, I got some more, and these ones are just a green and yellow um, glare to them. And these ones had the gold side, so that's why I got those ones. That's basically the two shades that I got from Charlotte Ruse, and all their glasses were... $5.99 so definitely if you guys want an alternative to Ray-Bans then I would definitely go with Charlotte Ruse because they're super cute and the only thing is they don't have the name on it but you don't always need that if you know how to wear something. Next is Forever 21. I just picked up this plain tee and I just like that the sleeves were a little bit longer um, so I thought I would like that and I like how it goes low in the back and this was only $6.50 and it's just a plain white shirt. No romance without finance. So it was $14.99 and it says it's from EB Lens. So that was just a regular shirt I got from them. This shirt right here I got from Ross and I just thought it was super cute and light and flowy just for the summer just to wear around the house and it just says Friday I'm in love so I picked up that just to wear around here like I said next I went to Ross and they always have like plain tees there so I just wanted to get a couple of plain shirts but I didn't see anything so I ran into this and this was only $7.99 from Ross and it's basically a crop top and it has number nine and it's in gold and I thought it was really really nice for the summer it's really lightweight so it was only $7.99 so I picked that up and this was basically on clearance and if you guys know me you guys know that I love floral so this was only 
and of course I think on this one you would have to wear one of those um, I forgot what they're called those like oh bandit bras so this is it and it just says love and it just has floral and it's a crop top so yeah and last but not least I do want to share this with you guys um, I got the Estee Lauder heat wave and this stuff is just amazing like I have Whisper of Gill and this like beats it 10 times. It's just a highlighting color and if you guys, this is still available in CCO so if you guys have a CCO around you just call them and ask them if they have any Estee Lauder heat waves and they might have it and it's only $28. Um, this was a limited edition. It came in last January but it's sold out so now you basically can just find them in your CCOs. So if you guys can get your hands on that, I would definitely recommend it to any like makeup lover um, that likes highlights like me or anything. But yeah guys, that was basically it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys have any questions, just um, put them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.